Good day traders, Stacy Burke from Stacy Burke Trading and today just going to go over the uh, London breakout session again and uh, just a couple more uh, examples of the opening range break in Asia and the London and US sessions. So again just to rehash the uh, opening range is typically the first couple of hours uh, in the, uh, of the of the session so for Asia uh, we tend to discount that very first hour, but those first two bars usually uh, can give us an idea of a trading range that may set up during the Asian session. And again, going into London, we like to see some evidence of a uh, possibly a buying extreme or a selling extreme setting up for the initial part of that um, London breakout with order flow. Just looking at the euro. So we see in that uh, first part of Asia, we saw big evidence of sellers st stepping in. And again, the pink, yellow, and green are the areas of where uh, the Asian session, uh, London session, and the US New York session will open and close. Just giving you some real simple ideas with support and resistance to start to conceptualize some of your uh, levels possibly for buying and selling and um, how to maybe manage that. So with the euro is a little bit not crystal clear, but we saw definitely saw support around that 1320 area. Sorry, 1310, 1315 region, and uh, selling up above that as evidence from the previous U.S. session. But during London, we broke out. They took out the London or the Asian high and immediately returned back into range going into the U.S. session. Obviously uh, had some kind of news spike here. Bullish traders would have had a tick, one tick entry above the high of that candle with their stop below, looking to retest the other side of the previous day's U.S. session highs. And uh, that was probably a one-to-one -one risk reward. So again, just coming back to the breakout of the Europe session open. Uh, Europe probably wasn't the easiest market to trade on the hourly time frame but again we saw some evidence of support and resistance from the previous US session and London markets. So if we go next to the British pound we'll take a look at uh, early in the day uh, the market continued up strongly from the Asian market open. Very uh, bullish explosive move going into the London Open and this is a textbook example of where we see uh, between that 2 a.m. and 5 a.m. New York Eastern Standard Time we see a possible higher low set up for the for the London session and we see a topping pattern set up uh, into that third hour of the London Open a fairly low risk uh, high probability entry of where the market would at least maybe retest 50% of Asia and again at least a, a 2 to 1, 1 to 1 for sure, maybe a 2 to 1 risk reward for traders to enter that trade uh, with the break of that market. So again we're not predicting uh, but we're looking for where the market has the first two hours again so we got um, the, the first hour of London and inside of that second hour we saw the market close up towards the high of that range so you want to be thinking in some real simple terms you want to be selling high and buying low so you've got to really start to look for this especially in that 2 a.m. to 5 a.m. New York time frame uh, again 80 percent of the time roughly do your own testing and, and look for that yourself uh, we're going to possibly see that market establish a higher or low okay so then uh, just looking at the pound yen again uh, similar to the pound we saw very bullish activity right out of the gate into the London Open a little bit different as we see that second hour of the London market open um, extend out past that first hour but again we saw a one bar pullback and then a very weak follow through bullish candle now interesting this is where traders going into the US market could have taken a uh, a one bar breakout entry with a one bar stop and they had a nice risk reward and in this particular case the market retested that breakout from the uh, bearish candle earlier in the Japanese session so there's at least a three two to three to one risk reward trade 
for people who were um, looking for that entry off the US Open and again just to keep and clarify that when the market broke down into that first pre-market open of New York you could limit order the low of that bear candle which the market did hit your risk is still predefined and your position sizing and money management rules apply uh, the first place you could be looking for is where that last breakout occurred going into the London Open which is this candle and by breakout I mean a candle that's gone out of balance and in this particular case it, it came all the way back down through from the beginning of the Asian session so remember 2 a.m. to 5 a.m. we look for some kind of maybe market high or low and same thing with the US Open when there's order flow that has to get executed the market uh, will often establish an extreme in that first few hours and then establish a range for the rest of the session so you want to look for that bias heading into the open if you're going to use other methods this just is something you can add into your your toolbox um, and again always manage the downside as you can see by these examples uh, really one candle is all you really ever need to risk and if you use your ATR you can you can see whatever instrument you're trading where what the average true range uh, for the last 10 Tony candles would be and that should be really your maximum risk on any one trade if you're right they move quickly very rarely will you have much uh, heat so if you're wrong and it's not going anywhere traders uh, chances are you might want to just have a real quick look if you're not sure there's never anything wrong with exiting the trade hopefully you got some value out of today's video again just uh, look for that um, opening range to be established low risk position sizing money management in place and uh, look to be taking a, a profit target uh, somewhere in that range of two to three to one depending on how much the market has moved thanks traders and may the markets go with you hi traders it's Stacy Burke from Stacy Burke trading if you haven't done so please head over to my website at stacyburktrading.com I create updates on almost a daily basis and I would love for you to receive them just click on the blog if you want to enter your name and your email address, I'll send you my free audio program, The 7-Step Daily Routine for High Performance Traders. This is essential knowledge for all traders in all markets, and this is for helping traders to master the market with discipline, confidence, and a winning mindset. I appreciate all your feedback and comments. As always, traders, stay disciplined, and may the markets go with you.